हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर 14 फ्रॉम हिबलर डायनामिक्स एंड दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 14 द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द 20 के जी क्रेट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ फोर्स हैविंग अ कॉन्स्टेंट डायरेक्शन एंड मैग्नीट्यूड इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन वैन एस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन द क्रेट इज़ मूविंग टू द राइट विद स्पीड ऑफ 8 meter per second determine its speed when s is equal to 25 meters the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the ground is 0.25 so now let's say that the crate is initially somewhere here let's say where the s is equal to 0 and we are given that when the crate is at a distance of uh 15 meters from here let's say that it has traveled a distance of 15 meters so here s is equal to 15 meters so when s is equal to 15 meters it is moving with a velocity of 8 meter per second let me write that this the velocity is 8 meter per second and let's say that at this particular instant let's say that this is our point a so this is the velocity at point a and in the problem it is said that determine its speed when s is equal to 25 meters so now when this block has traveled some further distance and it has traveled a distance of 25 meters from that s is equal to 0 position let's say that this is that second position let's say that uh, that this is point b so at point b the distance traveled is 25 meters and this block is subjected to a constant force and having that constant direction which is making 30 degree so this is that force f of 100 newton so when it is somewhere here between these two points so it is going to accelerate uh, it is going to accelerate and there will be a change in the velocity magnitude so we are required to find that velocity magnitude so now if we consider the free body diagram of this block so we will have let's say that i consider the block somewhere in between these two points and here we this is the force direction which is making 30 degrees and if we resolve this force into its components we will have two components of this force f so this one will be the uh, force magnitude is 100 newton so this is the cos component and this is 30 degrees so we can say that this is 100 cos of 30 degrees and this component is 100 sin of 30 degrees and there is a friction force between the surface of the of the crate and this surface which is in contact right so we will have that friction force which is going to act in this direction and this will be equal to this friction will be equal to mu k times n and mu k is given which is 0.25 so i will write that this is 0.25 times the n and the weight of this crate is acting vertically downward and this is that weight and the normal force is going to act in the upward direction so this is the normal force so now if we apply the summation of forces along the vertical direction let's say that this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction so if i apply the summation of forces along y uh, along y direction and this is let's say equal to m a y and since we know that there is no acceleration in the y direction so this means that the summation of forces along y must be equal to 0 so now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n and this sine component of the force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 100 sine of 30 degrees and the weight is acting in the downward direction so i will write minus and weight is 20 times 9.81 since the mass of the crate is 20 kg it is given so this is equal to 0 and from this we can find that n this is 100 uh, sin of 30 minus 20 into 9.81 this gives me n n minus 146.2 equals to 0 or we can say that n is equal to 146.2 newtons so if i apply the work energy principle if we apply that the kinetic energy at point a plus the the energies uh, from 
the external forces, right? Or the work done due to the external forces from uh, point A to B. So that is U from A to B. So the summation of all the work done due to the external forces, and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. And since we want to find the velocity at point V, so they will, let's say that the velocity at point V is VB. So this is required. So now as we can see that the external force is that force F which is applied and this friction force. So we need to find the energies of this force F. So the energy or the work done due to this force F is let's say UF and this will be equal to the cost component since the sine component is act always acting perpendicular to the distance traveled so it is not going to do any work. So this cost component is performing the work on this crate. So I will write 100 cos of 30 degrees times the distance traveled. So the distance traveled from point A to B is 10 meters, 25 minus 15. So this distance traveled is, we can say that this is 10 meters distance traveled. So I will multiply it with 10. So this gives me 100 cos of 30 multiplied by 10. So this gives me 866.03. 866.03 and this is in Newton meters. Similarly, the work done due to that friction force will be equal to that friction force which whose magnitude is 0.25 times n. So as we know that n is 146.2 times the distance traveled. So the distance traveled is 10. So this is 0 0.25 into 146.2 multiplied by 10 and this gives me 365.5. So this is 365.5 Newton meter. So now the kinetic energy at point A is half the mass, mass is 20 times the velocity at A square. So the velocity at A is 8 meter per second, this is given. So I will write 8 and this will become square plus the work done due to that force F. So the work done due to that force F is positive since the displacement travel, the direction of the distance travel and the direction of this cost component is both in the same direction. So this means that this uh, force F is or the component of this force F in the horizontal direction is doing the positive work. So I will write it positive, so I will aid it. So this is 866.03. And as we can see that the friction force is acting in the opposite direction of the distance traveled or the displacement traveled. So this means that this friction force is doing the negative work. So I need to subtract it. So I will write minus, and this is 365.5. And this will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So that is half mass is 20 and Vb squared. So this will cancel out. This is 20 divided by 2. So this will be 10. Let me write that this is 10 and this is also 10. This is 10. So now we can find Vb square if I divide both sides of equation by 10. So this will give us Vb square. So let me find this Vb square. So this is 10 into 8 square plus 866.03 minus 365.5 divided by 10. So this is equal to Vb square. Vb square equals to 114.053. And if I take the square root of this, so we will be able to find the magnitude of the velocity at that point B which is required. So I will write, I will take the square root of that answer. So this is 10.67. Or we can say that this is approximately 10.68 meter per second. So this is the velocity at point B which was required. So this is the solution of uh, this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to solve uh, more problems from chapter 14, Engineering Dynamics.